previous video, I talked about color grading and I told you that color correction has to do with balancing of the highlights and the shadows plainly in a layman's language and I said that color grading has to do with creating a desired look, a stylized look from your head. So color grading has to do with you, your creativity inside of you, what is inside of your head. That's color grading for you. In today's tutorial, I'll be talking about another color grading. I'll be color grading a, a wedding video and I believe in love. <laughs> I believe in love. This is actually a footage I shot last two weeks and I felt it was nice after color grading it, I loved the look. I loved the look and I decided to share with you guys what I did. And I'll be dropping two lots in this video. Check down the description. I'm dropping a lot from the last video, the previous video I, I did. I'm going, to, I'm going to be dropping that lot and I'll be dropping this one I'm creating right now. But before you begin to rejoice and you know one and be fast to download these lots and use them, you must know that. If your subject isn't lighted properly, this loss won't work well for you. If you have a wacky footage, a footage that isn't lighting properly, a footage that is that has maybe harsh highlights or so much shadows, I tell you, this lot will ruin your videos. I must tell you that lightning is the bedrock of cinematography. If your subject isn't lighted properly, loot won't just work for you. And I mean it. So make sure that you give yourself the responsibility of creating a nice footage, a properly lighted footage. So having said that, let's go straight into the tutorial and let's get started. So this is the footage as you can see. She's a wedding client. She's here feeling herself and <laughs> So, uh, two lights were used to shoot this. Now, one was coming from this direction and another light was coming from this direction to give her that sort of, um, to give her that sort of highlight. So, let's start creating. So the first thing you're gonna do is, the first thing you're going to do is to create an adjustment layer. Come here and search for new item and click on adjustment layer. Click OK. Then you drag it over to this footage. Adjustment layers are very important because it gives you, it kind of gives you, it's, make, it's easier to work with. It's easier to work with. So let's do that. So let's see. So the first thing I'm going to do is to go to my basic correction. Like I said before, you need to do your basic correction, basic color correction, before you do your color grading. If not done properly, it will wreck your footage. So we're going to increase the contrast up to this point. And we'll go to the highlights. We need to reduce the highlights a bit because it's a bit um, overblown. And we're going to reduce the shadows. And we are going to reduce the black too to make it look punchy. Now we're going to go to your creative. We're going to go to my creative and increase the vibrance and sharpen it a little bit. Then add a faded film. This kind of gives it that film look. So I'm going to go to my, so the color correction has been done. So I'm going to go to the color grading now. So I'm going to go to my shadow and I'm going to bring this down up to this point. Uh, I'm going to give it a touch of blue and cyan. I think this is fine. And I'm going to go to my thin balance and increase it a bit. Now, um, the next thing to do is to go to my color wheels, go to the shadows. I want to bring some blue in the shadows. So I'm going to do that slowly. I think that's fine. So I'm going to go to my HLL secondary and just um, with my key, 
my key pointer i'm going to look for a port a place where or a point where the skin is uniform our skin tone is uniform i'm going to click on it i think here is fine i'm going to activate this and just make sure that our skin is properly selected and remember the part that is revealed the part that you're seeing is a part that is affected why the part that is affected by the max is not affected so it's just like masking in photoshop so i'm going to denoise this add a little bit of blur and go to the color mixer or the color, or the color panel and i'm going to drag this down now you can see her skin is being affected and we don't want that so we're going to invert this which will turn the invert button and we deactivate this so as you can see this is okay this is fine um it doesn't look so good so i'm going to go to an i'm going to go to this panel to adjust it so i'm going to increase the contrast uh, i'm going to sharpen it i'm going to increase the temperature a little bit and make sure that the tint is towards the greenish side because it's, it's so i'm seeing some pink there so i have to remove it from the pink and adjust it to the greens so it's balanced so um it's already sharpened so as you can see this is what we have so the first part is done the second part is just to make sure that her skin has enough life it's well vibrant so i'm going to add another lumetri color and still go to the key i want to select her skin and i'll make sure that this is pointed to a place where that can serve as a mid-tone like a center of the mid-tone the highlights and the shadows just something that can go for the three so i'm going to um, adjust it make sure that her skin is selected hsl secondary is a very powerful tool for color grading if you want to achieve the best results make sure you do it correctly make sure you select your subject the skin of your subject very properly so and in case you maybe you selected and some parts are not selected these plus and minus are they are good tools they can work out for you can use the minus the minus um, minus sign the, the minus key sign to you know adjust it but mine has been adjusted so i don't need anything so i just need to all i what i'll do is just to denoise this and to blow it out a little bit and her skin i'm going to move it towards the red um, red the orange so i'm going to deactivate this gray and as you can see life has been added to her skin so what do i do the next thing i'm going to do is to add a little bit of contrast to make it dimensional and sharpen it and add a little bit of um, exposure to it and then if it's too saturated you can also decrease the saturation if it's too saturated it all depends on you and what you want to achieve so i think i need to move the temperature is so much i think this is fine um well i think this is, is too much i have to reduce it a little bit um i think somewhere 97 is fine so um this is it so the next thing to do is to go to the first lumetri color you created and make sure that you it's you don't just to finish up anyways you can make, you can put the temperature make it more bluish sort of being warm you know you can reduce it's so saturated you can reduce it you don't want to you don't want to uh, over blow things you don't want to blow things out of proportion so the next thing to do is um if you are okay with this 
I think this is fine. I think this is fine. This looks more cinematic for me. Um, I can go to my vignettes and add a vignette to create some kind of mood, you know, to make it look more cinematic. And uh, I think this is okay. As you can see. Um, so to turn it there. I have to turn it to the um, to the greens. So um, after all said and done. Amazing how color grading can help interface footage. This, this thing it looks more cinematic now, and I think I can give the credit to HSL. HSL is a very powerful tool. You can use it to distinguish your subject from the background and make sure that the, your color grading doesn't affect the skin of your subject. That's another thing. Let your color grading not affect the skin of your subject. Let our skin remain natural. So. Having said that, we've come to the end of this tutorial. I hope you enjoyed it. If you are new to this channel, please subscribe, hit the subscribe button, and also don't forget to hit the bell notification icon to get notified each time I drop another content. Never stop creating, never stop creating, and never stop discovering new things. My name is Chris. I will see you in my next video.